Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will provide information about top 6 best civil engineering business ideas and the basic requirements to start these businesses. Watch this video till the end. If you are a new visitor, let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay and don't forget to subscribe my channel. We will upload weekly videos which enhances your knowledge in civil engineering concepts, technology and creativity. Let's start our video. Construction industry is the largest contributor in aspects of jobs and GDP in India. So there are immense job opportunities and business opportunities in this area. Today this industry is facing many problems due to lockdown but surely it will bounce back. So it is a perfect time if you want to start a construction company but do you know how to start a construction company? So let us know if you want a separate video on this topic comment below. In civil construction business there are different contractors for specific works like material contractor. In this field you have to supply material to either customers directly that is B2C business to customer company or to other contractors that is B2B company business to business company or you can do both okay you can charge amount per square feet based on your local rates requirements are for material contractors you need at least 5 to 6 lakhs capital amount for buying materials also you need to have an office and good storage space to store these materials next labor contractor you have to supply laborers to other building contractors or to the customers who want to construct their house with their materials you can charge amount per square feet and you will get profits after paying these laborers amount requirements of this labor contractor is labor contractors have to give money to laborers on daily basis so be sure to maintain cash for at least three months in advance so it will help in emergency situations next building contractor or builder so before discussion of this building contractor we have to discuss what is the difference between material contractor labor contractor and building contractor it is purely based on customers needs the business is divided in these three types so if a customer wants only material you have material contractor if a customer wants only laborers to build and material has been procured from other contractor then he directly approaches only labor contractor if a customer don't want these hectic things and he directly approaches builder so builder do things from the scratch to the end now let us discuss building contractor hiring a building contractor who undertakes to provide every service required for the building he will help you to get the building plan prepared by a qualified architect he will do all the paperwork for getting the approval of the competent authority for the building plan he will construct the building, procure the required materials, employ his labor, supervise the building and complete the building in all aspects. Requirements for building contractor You need at least 5 to 10 lakhs investment for starting building contractor so that you have to maintain office, give salaries to your staff and other expenses. Our second idea is property development business. In this business you have to buy houses which are good and ready to be sale in the market. After renovation works, sell the same property for profitable amount. So you can start right away, but you have to work in the industry for some time to gain experience and relationships with other customers or other contractors etc. Requirements are, you need good capital amount at the start to buy houses. Also you need good experienced crew. Next planning and estimation services above what we discussed we will require managerial skills and not be necessary require good technical skills but if you want to start planning and estimation services on your own you have to be expert in this area and if you don't have technical skills hire a separate professional for these skills so that you can manage the business efficiently requirements are capital amount of at least 3 to 5 lakhs for an office space and to hire experienced staff etc next interior design company 
Nowadays people are hiring a separate professional for interior design because interior space have to be utilized perfectly. You can take the course to learn interior designing. In other way you can hire someone to do this work. So you can start a small office interior design planning service and charge an amount per square feet. It requires up to 5 lakhs of capital investment for an office and hiring staff. Next, survey services or property services. After surveying or land survey, you have to provide a type of map detailing the property's legal boundaries. The survey will also include a written description of the property, the street address and the location of the buildings and adjacent properties and any improvements a homeowner can make to the land. So you can charge an amount per hour basis. Requirements are you need at least 3 to 5 lakhs for buying equipment, hiring staff and to rent an office. Also you need to have good technical skills in software related to this field. We already made separate video on different softwares you have to learn for respective fields. I will give a link in the description or you can press i button here. Next, taking contracts for inspecting the construction work. Construction inspections are usually performed by the contract basis. So this requires experienced professionals. Here building inspector have to check project scope, the budget and time for completion. So for pricing check your locality on how much they are charging per project or per square feet. Requirements are capital amount of 1 to 2 lakhs for office rent and other miscellaneous expenses. So finally points to be noted. In prior to all these you have to develop good communication skills and relationships between fellow contractors and also with the customers. So for good reputation in the starting stages of your company, compete with other contractors on the basis of price and value. That means take less commissions for yourself then automatically overall cost will be reduced and provide good value for your customers so there will be high chances of recommending your company profile to other people. So from this video we gave a basic definitions of uh, all these businesses. So after starting your company registration is must. So if you want us to make a separate video comment below. Thank you for watching. If you like our video please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends so it will help them also and don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos see you in the next video thank you